So hi dear Capricorn, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general reading for all the Capis, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising for the month of July 2023. And this is not a love reading, this is not a career reading, whatever will come, I will just let you guys know. So let's start, I'm, type, I'm going to type into a recent past, current energies and near future and we will see the guidance. So let's start, overall energy for Capis for the month of July 2023. Let's see. Hmm. Tower, okay, something is going to fall apart here. It's not going to be like a, a tower is always, always a good thing. It's it's kind of some kind of illusion are going to break down, some kind of uh, uh, like limiting beliefs are going to break down or some kind of situation or connection that are not working out anymore, uh, anymore. They are going to break down. Something is breaking down here and it's going to create room for the new things to happen in your life. Something that needs to be uh, like... Uh, Okay, completely destroyed so that you can connect with the new energies, new situations in your life. Don't take it as a negative thing. Never fear tower. Tower is the best thing that could happen to anyone in their life. Trust me, even if it is painful for a little bit, but afterwards everything is very clear and everything seems to be fine for you. For everyone actually. Let's see. Okay, let's see in the recent past what was happening, Cappies. In the recent past, we had the five of wands. So you were in a very, very complicated kind of conflicted kind of situation where you were constantly fighting with yourself, with people around you. There was lots of competition, lots of conflict, lots of issues in a situation. I think lots of people were involved in that kind of energy of, you know, you know creating this chaos and creating this uh, conflict. It could be a love relationship situation. It could be an office work or a work environment kind of situation or family kind of issues going on. I'll clarify these cards one by one, but uh, let me pull the card for uh, current and the near future. Six of Cups, right now you are living in severe nostalgia. You are missing someone or you want some kind of reconciliation with someone and you're hoping for this particular person or particular situation to come back to your life again with the same energy at you as it used to be in the past when everything was fine, everything was beautiful and uh, lovey-jovey kind of. Let's see by the end of this month, let's see what's coming towards you. July 2023 okay seven of wands you will be in this energy of protecting yourself from being hurt and uh, uh, taking a charge of the situation taking a stand for yourself okay let's start clarifying let's uh, clarify the five of wands in the recent past for you guys cappies wow five of wands is clarified by the tower the queen of wands and the magician out of the blue out of the blue you are going to be like okay I have to take my power back from everything and everyone that's creating this conflict and fights and issues and uh, competition kind of energy in my life. So out of the blue, you are going to realize that you need to uh, like uh, let go of something or someone out of your life uh, who are just creating drama and conflict and fight and issue and they are not going, they're not doing anything good in your life and they're not giving you anything that uh, uh, that you can, uh, you can make a uh, sense of, like uh, you can be proud of, okay? So you are in this energy of manifesting uh, out of the blue, uh, you are going to manifest like, okay, I have to come out of this conflict and this drama. So let me manifest a life where I am in charge of my life and I am living in peace with myself. I am working on my own energies, my physique, my looks, my job, my career, everything about me. So basically you chose yourself over everything else in the recent past. Currently you are living in the past. You are hoping for some kind of coming together, coming back together, having severe nostalgia about past people, past situations. Let's clarify the six of cups. We have the page of pentacles, the seven of cups and the queen of pentacles. Hmm. Wow. See what is happening here is uh, Cappies. You are trying your best to connect with new people, new situations and you are trying your best to explore other options in your life. In uh, uh, Again, it could be related to your love life. It could be related to your career. It could be related to like education sector also. But something from your past is still uh, like in you that is not able to let you go to the other options or other things or simply you are trying to compare everything that's coming your way to the past energy and that's why you're kind of confused what you should do because you might be in this energy of the past was the best energy okay the no one else is compared to the past person or past situation or past energy whatever you are stuck on and even if uh, like uh, things are coming towards you like you have options in your life you are still confused and you are still in this energy of no past was the best so I should go ahead with the past. Uh, I should wait for the past energy only. 
or i should wait for a, a similar energy that that was uh, similar to the past wow why hmm. you are trying your best to make sense of this confusion that you are having right now but the more you are trying to do that the more you are getting confused about people situation and things in your life but at the same time you are growing from this confusion you are getting a lot of lessons lot of things that uh, that are help that are going to help you to grow in your life especially in terms of your stability like financial um, stability as well mental and emotional stability as well okay so by the end of the month of july uh, we do have seven of wands taking a stand for yourself finally and creating boundaries let's clarify the seven of wands We have the ten of wands, the king of wands, and the nine of pentacles. Yes, you will be in this energy of removing everything and everyone that's creating stressful kind of energies in your life, taking your power back from everything and everyone that's no longer serving you in any way, and focusing on your uh, name, fame, success, your overall financial freedom, and your stability in your life, your prosperity, your wealth, and your growth in your life. So I think finally you are going to be in this energy of okay I should not be confused I should release this stressful kind of energies there's no use of stressing over things that are no longer helping me to grow in my life and finally you are going to take a stand for yourself take the charge of your life and focused on like only yourself you are uh, like uh, freedom your financial freedom your success your looks everything about you finally you are going to choose yourself again <laughs> and working on yourself this time very very hard working kind of energy practical mature grounded let's see the guidance for you people for the month of july 2023 capis we have the three of swords the moon card and the magician okay see if you are very very if you are worried that uh, you are never going to go, come out of this painful kind of energy that you are carrying with you from a very long time might be if you are scared to release this pain out of your system it's high time for to for you to realize the manifestations that you are working on in your life are never going to come back to fruition if you are not going to release the pain that you are holding on to subconsciously there are lots of fears and lots of uh, limiting beliefs in your system that you need to release and uh, most important thing there is some kind of painful memories painful energies that you're still holding on to even if uh, you are not doing it consciously there is something in your subconscious mind that uh, needs to be released and reprogrammed then only the manifestations that you are having in your life are go going to come to fruition okay so reprogram your subconscious mind uh, release the pain who, like whatever pain you are holding on to whatever thing that uh, you need to let go of out of your system and then only the manifestation will start working out in your favor okay capis this is what i have for you so thank you so much for tuning in capis i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste